Good morning from Canada. Squatter Rail, Canada. Today is a very exciting day. Not because there's anything particularly exciting going on, but just because I say so. What do you mean? True. There's totally exciting things going on today. True. I think we're going to work on part of the subfloor today and uh, we're going to try and get the window in. That's exciting. Uh, because we don't have a, uh, because we're outdoors, we've basically been doing musical chairs with all of our equipment, so uh, when you do a build, try and find something that has a place for all your stuff with no rain. In other words, don't do it outside in Alberta, Canada. Also, side note, after a couple weeks of being sick, I finally feel absolutely 100%. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, today we're cleaning up the floors and we're prepping for uh, subfloors. We're using this stuff. Uh, Seven Gray uses stuff called Ice Shield. We're using uh, Henry's brand something. Basically, uh, the last bus I had, the sound insulation was very expensive. This whole roll, uh, I think I mentioned to you before, I got a deal. If not, it was funny. Uh, you should replay that video. Uh, 50 bucks. So we're just going to put it down. Mike's never used it before. No, uh, stuff what are your initial thoughts on it? Uh, it seems like the soundproofing stuff I've used previously, it's pretty darn close to the cost. So I'm assuming it's going to work. Yeah. Mike, by the way, didn't use uh, sound insulation like this, but because of the density and thickness of the floors and subfloors and having a, a different bus, this bus, the engine is in front, so it's not as noisy as my previous bus. His bus is like super quiet, but he also has a different engine and all kinds of freight liner. So I'm thinking about a freight liner on the next bus. Oh, geez, he's already talking about the next one, huh? Yeah, isn't that weird? I always do that. Even on my first one, I'm like, yeah, I wonder what the next one's gonna be. It's kind of like, I don't know, boys in the toys. Anyways, enough yapping. Let's get to work. It's very sticky. very sticky. And once once you fold it here, let's see the other side. Once you fold it over, you can't get it out. So when you're doing the wheel was, uh, this is our technique. We're just right. gonna cut another one and fill it in. But how cool is this stuff, huh? Feels interesting, it right? Feels like it should work. It's not. That, so this is an ice shield. This is a Henry's product, and it's a water barrier for the walls. Now, let's let's. Here we go. Here's a real test, right? Here's without. Here's with. It's like hollow. Yeah, a little different, right? So, I don't know whether it works or not. I have no idea whether it's worth the 50 bucks or not. It's up to you, it's up to us. It's really subjective. Without any instrument tools, we have no measurement. It should, it should work in theory. A little bit, right? Yeah, it should, it should work. And, I mean, and you know what it is. 50 bucks for 200 square feet, uh, that's pretty cheap. I we made have, a mistake. We have now demonstrated the wrong way to uh, put this stuff on. Do not cut the whole length. We got it creased. We're going to do four to eight foot chunks. Because putting this stuff on, you're just asking for trouble. Hey right, guys. What do you think? Oh, we need to do a uh, tutorial for yours too. Yes. So let's roll out oh, yeah, that yeah. next one. Okay. All right, so what do you think? Here is what this, uh, I don't even know what to call it. I'm just gonna call it noise control, right? Here's what the noise control, this particular product, as you can see, it's right there. I was looking for ice shield. They didn't have it in Canada, whatever. Um, but as you can see, it has a whole different, even though it's very echoey up here, it has a whole different sound because it's it's there right it's all adhered uh what are your f thoughts on this stuff it's definitely not the expensive stuff you can get but for right. the cost I i'm thinking at the moment it's it's worth it's, the cost savings in terms of like how many decibels you're like lessening for cost yeah. it's 
I mean, what'd you get? Like, this is like, well, you got for 50. Well, let's just say even the regular price stuff that's like 150 or whatever is one tenth. One tenth the cost if you got like Dynamat Extreme Pro or whatever the heck that stuff's called, right? Because it's like special audio acoustic stuff. Which this is like a knockoff that's not exactly the same material, but one tenth the cost. I happen to get 60% off just because it was like a trash roll. You, see, you can see it looks like, I don't know, some chipmunks ate it or something, right? But uh, for the money, I mean, why not, right? Yeah, for the money, it seems like it's going to do what you want and uh, get the decimals down for yeah. you. I mean... Everything helps. Yeah. And if it does absolutely nothing, or even just a little bit, yeah. it's 50 bucks. 50 bucks, you know? right. Yeah. It's not going to... If anything, it's a good waterproof barrier. It's, it's one of the things... So, here's the thing with the bus, right? Like, it's one of the things you can't upgrade. You can't go back and rip everything out and then decide later, like, oh, I want that on there. You either do it in the very beginning or you don't do it at all. Uh, anyways, what are we uh, what are we about to do? We're going to water test the bus and make sure that every single window and seal is uh, solid, so then we can then start putting in our wood. All right, so, let's get to work. Yeah. Wait. Right here. All right, we are leak testing the bus. We're looking for uh, any issues. This was an issue, but we'll probably get that with more uh, silicone. No big deal on that one. It's mimicking uh, driving in the rain. Uh, it's coming through the rivet itself. So we will uh, hit that, the top part of it, with, uh, with adhesive, or uh, I'm not saying adhesive, you know what I'm saying, caulking, and uh, sil uh, you just silicone it up, and then that will be no problem. Everything else looks pretty good. These are the uh, deck supports. There's nothing coming in here yet. So, uh, I'd say so far so good. Badge is back. Yeah. Badge had the morning off. He was taking a little vacation. Oh, really <laughs> Just kidding. You're good. So now we're just going on the uh, outside of the bus. Mike's spraying it. Yeah, yeah. There's a little gap in there. You're good. This one. Where? That one's leaking. Oh yeah. So we got a little leak there. Isn't that fun to see leaking before it like puddles up after you're building? So that's just a little. Could be a gasket issue or. Um, who knows? Actually, badge, I think. Oh, wait, no, that's not the problem. Just take it off. Yeah, minor. You're good! It's mostly, uh. Oh, wait. Look at that leak right there. Look at that leak right there. So, you know what we do with that leak? We just put a little mark on it. That's a good one. That's a big one. That's a good one. Yeah, that's, that's a, a pretty one. big leak. Big, big leak! Got a big one here. Okay! Okay, okay. move on. Keep going! That's a big one right there. Yeah. Yeah. Alright, now we're moving on to this one. We got lots and lots and lots of caulking on that. I don't think it should be leaking. So just make sure you look up. You look over. Okay! Mike? Yes! Do you know the moral of the story? I'm pretty sure there's probably leaks. My God, almost every single one of these things was leaking. So, fine. ladies and gentlemen, I don't know if Mike would agree with me or not, but I would recommend heavily caulking all of the windows, even I, if you I would leave recommend them in. that if your bus is older than like an 07, to most likely re caulk your windows because this is what happens. Yeah, this is even after re caulking. So, I think well, I'm, not a, I'm not a pro, but the way these windows are made, there's like a little gap in between the metal and the outside. So I say we just stuff the corners full of caulking. What do you say? Yeah, so see, you get the rims where we re -caulked. Then you actually have the metal. On the, the actual, inside, yeah, yeah. The actual window frame yeah. that leaks. So uh, I was hoping that your windows were in better shape than it seems like they yeah. are. But, and uh, by the way, no caulking came from the part that we installed, which was like the part where it meets. It was in these corners. It was all. It was only the corners. And back here, if you see, well, guess what? We got a leak, and that is an old leak coming down there. That thing's been leaking for centuries. Yep. So it is a manufacturer defect. Well, it's just over time. They don't. They don't build these things to last 
for us to repurpose them into homes, they build them to last for you know 10, 15 years. Yeah, and this guy knows, you know, he knows what he's talking about. It's absolutely correct. Mm -hmm.